and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. This has been one of the most requested videos on my channel and I'm finally getting to do this for y'all so I hope that you really enjoy it. But before you start watching, I do wanna let you know that I am no beauty expert. I don't have a clue about makeup. I'm just gonna share with you guys what works for me and hopefully it helps and um, gives you guys a little bit of insight on how I do my makeup and my hair. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this and hopefully you will enjoy this one. Also, I will be leaving links to anything and everything that I'm mentioning down in the description box below as long as I can find it. And I also have as much stuff as I can linked into my Amazon store as well. So you can go check that out. I have lots of different recommendations in my store and it's all categorized so it's easy to find and follow in case you're interested in checking that out. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this Get Ready With Me. All right, I'm gonna start with my makeup first. I just, my hair is still wet. I just kind of threw it up in a bun on the top of my head. It literally takes me like five or 10 minutes every time I do my makeup and I don't necessarily do my makeup every single day. There's a lot of days when I will go without makeup. Now that I am doing YouTube, I actually um, put makeup on a lot more than I used to. For my foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me and this is what it looks like. And this is the color 130 Buff Beige. And then I'm just going to use a little sponge brush. I already put my foundation on the top. And then I am just going to dab it all over my face. And then if I'm in a big hurry, I won't use a sponge or beauty blender or anything. I will just literally use my fingers and rub it all in. It's just so much faster that way but just depends on what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. <laughs> and I'm using this little viewfinder over here, so it's kind of hard for me to see, so hopefully everything's rubbed in. But then the next thing that I'll do is the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer, and this is in number 20, Sand Sable. And I will just take some under my eyes, my nose because it gets a lot darker than the rest of my face and then if I have any like blemishes or anything like that I'll just kind of cover those as well and then I always use my fingers for this to rub it in really good and then I have like a little vein right here on my nose <laughs> that I try to cover like right on the inside of my nose because I feel like if it's not covered up, it looks like I have hair coming out my nose, but it's really just a little vein that shows up really bad on my nose. It's probably kind of weird. I don't know if other people have that or not. Like I said, I just kind of rub everything in with my fingers. All right, and then the next thing that I'm gonna use is this bronzer, and this is what it looks like. It's by a company called um, Beauty Control, and they actually went out of business, so I got this and some eyeliner and some blush, which that's the brand that I'm gonna use is Beauty Control for all three of those things, and I got them right before they went out of business, so I got stuff on sale. I was using their foundation before and so that's kind of how I knew about them. I had a friend that was selling it and now I am just waiting till I run out of all of this to get anything else. So I just take my bronzer and I love this stuff. I just do it on my forehead. I kind of go around my face and get the edges first. And then I'll do like on my cheekbones. And then my nose. All right, and the brush that I'm using is an Eco Tools brush. I have no idea what 
brushes to use or any of that kind of thing. So this is just what works for me. The blush that I'm using is another Beauty Control and it's really pretty, it's very rosy. And so I'm just going to do that on my cheekbones. And I think my favorite two products have to be blush and bronzer. I really feel like they kind of make everything pop. All right, and then for my eyeshadow, I'm using this Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow, and this is in the Praline color. And it's like, it's almost like a rose gold color. It's really pretty and shimmery, but it's not like glittery. So I just take my finger. It does have a little, um, down in here, it has this little brush that comes out, and you can use that too, but I just feel like using your finger with this kind of eyeshadow works a lot better. And I just kind of rub it on my eye lid, both eyelids. And this is pretty much my go-to color. I want to try some of the other colors and y'all let me know if you've tried any of the other ones in this Revlon color stay because I really like how e easy it is to apply this and how quick and how much of a difference it makes um, just from putting this on. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to use is my, it's another beauty control product but it's just black eyeliner and before I was using this I would just get whatever black eyeliner pencil that they had in the store and I just put it on my tear line. And if I'm like going out on a date or something like that, I'll put eyeliner on the top lid too, but most of the time I just stick to my bottom. And then for my mascara, I just use the Maybelline Falsies. And I love this mascara. And then I just have a little eyelash curler. Sometimes I'll do this. Most of the time I don't, but. All right, and then I just apply my mascara. And then if I am just gonna be like running errands or whatever, then I'll just put on some Burt's Bees. This is the Tinted Lip Balm. And then if I am going to like, if I'm trying to look cute or whatever, or I'm going out with friends or on a date, then I'll usually use some lip scents. And I have lots of different colors in this one. Um, this is the Apple Cider. And then, let's see. That's my, the apple cider is my favorite, but then like if I'm doing a date night, a lot of times I'll use the raspberry. It's a little darker. And then I have the goddess color and it's kind of similar to the um, apple cider. And then this one I haven't used yet, but it's the mocha java. And I probably need to try that soon, but. I'm just gonna use my favorite apple cider just because I feel like it's a very natural color and it looks good with my eyeshadow. So I just put this on. And then I'm putting the um, glossy gloss on top.
And that is it for my makeup. That's pretty much all I do. All right, so now I'm going to go blow dry my hair and I'm gonna show you guys how I curl it. All right, so this is what my hair looks like when I blow dry it. So I always have to either blow dry it and straighten it or um, I can let it dry overnight and curl it or I can blow dry and curl it. So today I'm just going to be curling my hair since I get so many questions about that. And I'm just using a little clip. And I'm gonna pull up a big section of hair and then leave this much down. And I feel like, I mean, this looks awful. I do need to get my hair done, but I'm just trying to let it grow out and do possibly do like the balayage or whatever, however you say it. Um, I've done it before in the past and I really liked it. So I'm thinking I might do that again, but we shall see. Um, to blow dry my hair, I have this wet brush and then I just use a, I'll link all of my stuff down below, but I just use a Revlon um, blow dryer. And then to curl my hair, I have this Hot Tools curling iron with a clamp and a lot of people always ask me if I am using one of the wands and no I don't I've never used it and I don't think I'd be very good at it because I'm just so used to using the clamp now but to curl my hair I grab a little section and I start at the top I use my index finger now this is on the left side of my head I always curl away from my face and um, I use my index finger on the left side of my head to clamp. So I will open that up and I start at the top and I just kind of grab this as I'm going down. I'm kind of loosening it a little bit to slide it down until I get to the bottom. And you can either curl all the way to the very bottom or you could even do like halfway and um, leave a little bit straight at the end to make it more beachy and I'll show you that. So if I wanted it to be a little bit more beachy, I could start a little bit further down than all the way up and then not curl all the way to the bottom and hold it and then let it go. And then the bottom is gonna be a little bit uh, straight and then when you go to like pull it through, like. Um, run your fingers through it, it looks a lot more beachy. You can also, it just depends on how you like to do it or whatever you, whatever style you want, but you can also um, go back and forth curling to the back of your hair and then curling towards your face, back and forth between curls. It's totally up to you. I just like to stick to one thing just because it's faster. So I will on this side of my face, I curl this way, and then on this side of my face, I curl to the back. So, it's always a going away from my face. And I have been putting this video off, well, not putting it off. This is actually the third time I have filmed this video. The first time, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so awkward, and I, it was just not good. So, I deleted that one, and then, I filmed it, I filmed this video the other day and I thought it was fine, but <laughs> I forgot to turn my microphone on halfway through. Um, I realized it and it was just too late, so I ended up, or actually no, I didn't even know until I pulled it up on the computer and I went to edit the video and realized that half of my video had no sound because I had turned the mic off to make sure the battery didn't go dead and forgot to turn it back on. So, messed up that video. So now this is the third time and hopefully this one will go up and it will turn out good. All right, so on the other side, like I said, I'm gonna curl away. So on the other side, I will use my thumb to clamp because you want this part to be in the front so it goes away. From your face. Alright, so then I'm doing the same thing starting at the top and curling down. 
but one of my actually I think it was my very first video I decided to do a um, tutorial on how to curl your hair or how I curl my hair and because I had so many friends that always asked how do you curl your hair and do you use a wand or whatever I don't understand how you're using a regular curling iron to look like that and um, so I did the video and that was my very very first video so um, you can go back and watch it and I am like super nervous in front of the camera um, and I'm not gonna lie I still am not 100% confident in front of the camera but that was I think I posted that one at the end of November maybe last year so and it's August now so and then I don't think I actually like really started getting serious about YouTube until the end of January I posted my first cleaning video when I was like okay I think I really am gonna take this into you know a real YouTube channel where it's not just for my friends or just for people that are wanting to know how to do something I decided you know all these women have made such an impact on me from their YouTube channels so I wanted to start mine and you know use it for positive or just any tips or tricks that I have I'm by far no means perfect at all but I do feel like you know every one of us has something that we're good at and at that point when I started obviously it wasn't I wasn't good at being in front of a camera but I got a little bit more used to it as we as I did more videos and got a little bit more comfortable I'm a lot more comfortable now being in front of the camera than I was definitely that first video um, but I feel like everybody has a little bit of something that they can share with other people or other women to encourage them or maybe a trick that they have that they use that works for them and you know somebody's gonna take that advice and use it for themselves and if it works it works and if it doesn't it doesn't but I just liked the idea that I was able to reach other people that I may not have ever reached before without YouTube and it's just so fun because since I've started I've made so many new friends I've made friends that don't do YouTube I've made friends that do YouTube and it's just been so much fun so I'm super glad that I did it and I'm just kind of rambling but anyways when you get done with the bottom half so when you get done with this I always use my little handheld mirror I'm gonna actually go get that real quick all right so I always use this little mirror mirror that needs to be washed off it's kind of gross from hairspray but I just got it at the Dollar Tree and then I will look check the back And I just kind of check to see, make sure that I don't have any hair that I missed. And then I use Suave Hairspray. And this is the Extreme Hold. I've always used this brand. I know there's a lot more. This is like the cheap brand, but it works for me, so I use it. But then um, I will just kind of run my fingers through the curls or pull them apart just so they're not all like stuck together. And then I will take the next section of hair and go around and do the same thing. Start at the top and work my way to the bottom. And it's super easy. I hope this is helpful for you guys.
But anyways, in my last video, I did, or not my last one, but a few videos ago, I did talk about how um, I just finished the book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And she has totally inspired me and I really hope that I can do that for someone um, the way that she has inspired me because she's just, I mean, a girl boss. Like she just can motivate anyone in any place that they are in their lives. Stay at home mom, work from home mom, um, corporate mom, whatever it is, like teacher, whoever you are, I feel like you need to read that book because I'm telling you, it just makes you feel so good about yourself and it kind of puts other people's lives into perspective too. Like just because something that I share with you works for me, and I'm sharing it on my YouTube channel, does not mean that it's gonna work for you. But me sharing it could help someone or it could spark an idea for you in another area or whatever. But um, we have to remember, and I mean, I know it's hard as women to remember that everybody's situations are different and um, not everybody's gonna parent the same way you do. Not everybody's gonna believe the same things that you do. And I have <laughs> learned that being on YouTube especially, like lots of people leave me comments and don't agree with the way I clean my toilets or don't agree with the wet, the um, things that I'm using to clean or don't agree with I don't know anything and everything that everybody just has an opinion and that's totally fine but we do have to remember that just because something works for you does not necessarily mean it's gonna work for me and just because something works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you so I don't know the whole book that Rachel Hollis wrote girl wash your face is just oh, it's so good and there's just so many different principles and that's just one of them that I was just talking about but there's so many different things that you can take away and apply to your life in that book so I really really recommend it I actually ended up going to her movie the other night and it's a documentary and it's all about um, what they do at their at her rise conference and it's just a conference for women where people they go in and she does it's a whole two-day thing and it was just really cool because you got to kind of feel like you were at the conference and you got to see what she talks about and just how motivating it is. So hopefully one day I'll get to go to a RISE conference, but um, if you're not already following Rachel Hollis on Instagram or um, she has a blog that's called The Chic Site, and I'll leave all the information below, but I can't recommend her enough. I just feel like she is the most motivating person ever, like woman. She's just so about building people up and right where you are, not building you up saying, oh, well, if you, you know, one day you should do this or whatever. She's just building you up about where you are in your life right now. And it's just awesome. But I just feel like I'm, just talking now. Sorry, I do wanted to share. I did want to share that with y'all though, because I seriously, I've I've shared that book with everybody that I can think of, and I actually tried to share it on Audible, and I did share it with a bunch of people on Audible because apparently, if you've never received a free book on Audible before, then you can some a friend could share it with you. But um, I think I shared it with too many people, so. Um, you can only share with a certain amount, I think, and or each book, and so I think I overshared it. But it's sixteen dollars, I think, for the book, and I do have it in my Amazon store too because I love it, and I have other, a few other books in there that I really love too in my Amazon store. If you're just interested in some Bible studies or things like that, um, but. On Audible you can get it as well and Rachel actually is the one that's reading it on Audible 
and she just has so much energy and I love listening to her so and she also has podcasts so now I'm obsessed with her podcasts so I'm just gonna follow Rachel around everywhere and just try to be like her all right so I need to look at the back just gonna spray that section So it's really hard for me to see in my viewfinder <laughs> if I've got it all curled, so hopefully I do. But then I'm just gonna move on to the next section. All right, for the sake of not having a 30 minute video, or hopefully it's not gonna be 30 minutes, but for the sake of shortening this video, I think I'm gonna speed it up from here since you kind of get the gist of how you curl your hair now or how I curl my hair. Because like I said, this won't necessarily work for everybody. So I'm gonna speed it up starting here. And that is pretty much all I do to my hair. Um, if I want it to be a little bit less curly and a little more wavy, then I will take a brush and just kind of brush through it. And that seems to do the job. Um, I try not to put too, too much hairspray just because I don't like my hair to be like sticky and hard, but I put enough to wear Hopefully it'll hold it. All right, I'll show you the back really quick. But that's it, super easy. All right guys, so that was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to let me know and um, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget that I have links to all the products that I'm using down in the description box below if you'd like to check those out. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.